Lizzie Bird and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze for the Nintendo Switch. In the last episode, we completed Grassland, or what's it called? You know what it's called. It is called Bright Savannah. And now we're we'll moving on to the next world, the fourth world, which is Seabreeze Cove. Now, beach levels in most platformers are quite difficult. Will that be the case here? I guess we'll find out together. It looks like there's lots of levels, though. If we take a look at the summary. Yeah, it looks like a lot of levels, so I'm gonna have a lot of fun going through this. Hopefully everything will turn out well, of course, as we do for the first episode in a world. I'm just gonna be trying to do whatever the shortest route to the boss fight is, defeat the boss fight, and that'll be today's video. Next episode will be completing this world 100%. If you haven't caught that, that's what I've been doing. Some people are like, hey, I thought you said these episodes would be over an hour. I thought it would take an hour to do all that kind of stuff, but anyways, I'm blabbing too much. World 4 one, deep keep. Oh, was keep deep, nope, deep keep. So I'm guessing a ton of underwater levels, which actually might be more difficult here than in other platformers, because Donkey Kong actually does have like breathing he has to do. He has to pick up air bubbles. So that's gonna be difficult. But let's get started, world four. And I'm not entirely worried about getting every puzzle piece in our first go, but if I can do it, it's awesome. So yeah, uh, let's bust that open. I'm mostly focused on the Kong letters. Oh, you are a pain in the butt. So there's only like, we can't get you. You're like invincible, we need to throw that guy at you. Guess I sort of messed out on that one. <laughs> All right, well this is not good because Diddy Kong's already pretty low on health. Oh, I'll do what I can about it. Look at this place, so it's beautiful under here. So many bright and vibrant colors, I like it. Uh, Grab that, and then grab that. Ooh, we got a banana coin. I'm a couple away from max banana coin, so I'm just gonna get however many I can, and once we hit max, I'll probably spend some more but man, I'm, I'm just really excited to play more of this game. It's a lot of fun. I'm gonna try to get rid of all these fishies, because you never know when it might be worthwhile to do that. And I do see these. I'm guessing we need to pop out of the water and grab them. It didn't really do too much for me, but it could have. And that's what you have to focus on. I just like how if you jump out of the water, he sort of does like another dive back in. It's pretty cool. Oh, come on, how can I not get that? Whoop, there we go, that's what I'm looking for. Grab some of those, and grab some of those. So we're doing pretty good so far. Did I miss this seaweed? I think I did. No, I didn't. Oh, the fish are back. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So I guess we're supposed to be going down here. That's sort of the weird thing right now. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Try to go the opposite way of where I'm supposed to go. That way, you know, I can get the secrets first. Oh, this is definitely gonna be something. Definitely gonna be something. The camera's not really helping me with it though, and that's bad. I got it though. That's a puzzle piece. Puzzle piece number one out of this level, and out of this world as well. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got lots of fishies everywhere. Um, I had to be careful not to get hit, but if I could get these three bananas, it is a little bit difficult to like turn around in the water. Like that's sort of my biggest cl complaint about the water control so far, so I just don't like that. Come on, get these three, there we go. And then, luckily I haven't been running too much into error issues. Can't really control who we get over there, but uh, we got Dixie Kong, which I'm fine with. Okay, so it seems like we found everything down this way. Okay, down, down, go down here. Uh, oh, I don't like this, these spiky sea urchins. Oh, more, and these ones have eyeballs. Oh, I see, there's like a little clam this way. What is in this? Just a banana coin, we've already lost Dixie Kong. Oh, that's the worst. Hmm, how much you wanna bet there might have been down, something down this way? No, not looking like it. Because I know Dixie Kong has an ability we learned in the last episode where she sort of twir twirls her pigtail that does something, what in the world is going on here? What is this? Hold on, um, I mean, sure, I'll check it out. Is this a bonus? Wait, was this the way I was supposed to go? This is beyond bizarre. Uh, <laughs> I am so confused. Was this the way we're supposed to go or not? All right, well, it looks like I've already messed a ton of secrets then. Jeez, I mean, maybe this is leading to some kind of crazy secret exit. Maybe I should just poke around the area a little bit more. Man, oh man. Yeah, there's a checkpoint over this way. So I'm gonna guess that means uh, this is the way we're supposed to go. I am definitely gonna have to come back to this level later on, which that'll be a pain in the butt. But not really my issue right now. Get those bananas, and get those bananas. I mean, we're doing pretty well in lives. We have 87. I mean, would, I'm sure we could afford to get more. That's exactly what I'll try to do. Hey, look, there's a letter O, so maybe I didn't miss the Kong letters. That would be good. Okay, I got it, but I took some damage for it. It's a little tough. Oh, there's certainly something down here, but can I bust that? I can, okay. 
So I gotta do this all on my lonesome. Don't have any Kong friends for me to help out. Luckily, it's a barrel one. It's almost like they expected that. Uh, so just, oh gosh, uh, whoop. Not bad. Yeah, that's sort of the problem right now is that I don't have too much of a way to, oh, uh, I don't like that. I don't like it one bit. I thought this would be so much easier if I had a Kong friend, because it probably would be. Okay, get those. Awesome. I actually did it. That was pretty good. <laughs> All right, so there is a puzzle piece there as well. I definitely had to miss things by the entrance of the uh, whole place we're at right now. We're just sort of in an underwater catacomb, but that was silly. <laughs> I thought I could make my way out of there. Not quite. We just got the checkpoint though, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so grab some of these bananas. Oh my gosh. Like Donkey Kong is always bigger than I'm expecting him to be, which is funny. I should just expect him to be gigantic because he is. He's a gigantic gorilla. Okay, I got rid of one of you. Okay, I guess I have Cranky Kong. I was trying to get Dixie Kong there. Oh gosh, you're gonna electrocute the water, buddy? Ooh, you're sending out like a little electric blast. Oh, and you're gone. And now you're back. Okay, try to dodge whatever shots you throw. And then, I gotta get rid of you. Did I seriously not get him there? I am, okay, I got him there. I was like seriously doubting that. What a weird enemy. Oh, banana coin. 918 of them. So we're going this way, trying to be careful, not hitting any of the urchins, because it's never fun. I think there's actually something down this way. Sure as heck looks like it. And it's a puzzle piece. We're doing pretty decent with finding the puzzle pieces. We're at three out of seven. Um, as long as we can get like almost all of them, I'm fine with leaving the level with only like one or two missing. That usually happens. I'm gonna try my best to get all of them anyways, but oh my. Uh, I can't fight this current. Am I supposed to just have Dixie Kong for this? I suppose not. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. If I tap the button to just spin, I must give Donkey Kong some major dizziness, but beyond that, it gets us through a little better. Oh, give me that banana, thank you. I love this music. Of course, this music is a throwback to some Donkey Kong Country music. No, Cranky, I'm so sorry. Oh, there's definitely something down here, right? No, I guess not. Sort of looks like it. I was wrong. Oh gosh, the current's blowing me away again. Okay, so what's this clam have? Just some bananas, nothing crazy. Oh, this is gonna be tough. This is not gonna be easy. Okay, we made it, we made it. Hmm, I definitely would like another Kong friend soon. I mean, I, I, I'm always troubled when I'm without them. You gotta be careful, because if you just charge and hit the wall, you're gonna bounce off of it, and it's gonna be not good. Try to grab some of these. Nice, got it. And then I think we just bust our way through this way? No? But what are we supposed to do here? Oh, I gotta turn off the lights. All in rapid succession. Well, I missed one, so that's not happening. Gosh darn it, okay, there we go, I got it. With one HP to spare. Okay, now that the current's going the other way. Anything up here? I doubt it. Looks like my doubt was correct. At least I'm not as worried now, as long as we have the checkpoint. I timed that really badly. It's hard not to though, because you're always sort of kind of floating. Like it, it doesn't, I don't know if you can actually be at a standstill under the water. Let me try to find out now. Like even now, I'm like sort of kind of inching for it. Okay, you eventually stop, but it takes forever to stop, and that's the problem. Okay, got it, got it, got it. I see this letter, I need it. Okay, whoa, ho, ho, ho. I mean, there's not really much I could do here, except just go for it. Okay, let's try to get this barrel. I think I want Diddy Kong. I don't know if there's gonna be any out of water segments, but I better get a Kong that might help me for them. Just in case, I bet you if we got like everything in this room, it would have to get us something, ow. It's just so difficult because of Donkey Kong's gigantic monkey frame, you know? I'm just gonna dodge what I can then. Dodge that. <laughs> this is like, oh my gosh, I don't like it. Okay, got it. I hear what sounds like beeping. The cat sneezes in the background, that's not what I'm talking about. But, <laughs> um. Maybe it's just a song. I think it's just a song. It makes it sound like I'm on a timer before things explode. Well, there goes Diddy Kong. See ya, buddy. I mean, maybe this stuff is, wait, what hit me there? These little guys? Ow. Oh, I'm running out of air, I forgot. Oh, I totally forgot to die. Totally forgot DK has air, that he has to breathe. I don't think getting all those things is gonna do anything, now that I think about it. It's like way too much to get, that'd be ludicrous. There was something on the bottom we could certainly get that might be helpful. Uh, get more air. Get rid of these jerks. Okay. I gotta be careful. Okay, that's the best I can do. 
Uh, Dixie Kong is fine. But yeah, if I go down this way, and there's charge through this, this definitely is gonna be the bonus area, right? I mean, there might be a secret exit to this level. I'm not sure if that's the case, but it looks like if I could get rid of everything in this room, could out. You get out of here, thank you. That's satisfying. So yeah, it makes that noise when we're low on air. <laughs> I'm so silly. Okay, go ahead and boop, got that. And that is a puzzle piece, great. Okay, so four out of seven now. I can get out of here as much as I possibly can. Uh, oh, ah, the swimming is so tough in this game. I wanna go up this way if I can. There's nothing up this way. Okay, we're just getting out of here then. We're skedaddling. Okay, so we got more of these little lights to hit. I hit them. Oh, okay, that's a current gonna push me this way. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Ugh, I don't like it. Out of my way, sea urchins. Ah, you were not out of my way there. Okay, there's a the liturgy. No, 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 no. I'm gonna die if I, I'm going to get myself taken out if I can't, come on. Don't tell me I'm gonna run into a checkpoint because I feel like this game would do something silly like that. Okay, well I could just try to sit here and run out of error. What's down this way? Okay, there's a, at least I can get something here and get taken out. Like that'd be good. Because I, I want that last Kong letter for sure. It'll just make things so much easier to not have to worry about later. Up. Uh, Come on, I'm awful at everything, okay? Ah, uh, come on, just, oh, now I gotta wait even longer to run out of air. Okay, maybe it's something I should just save for later. Oh, well, I'll get an extra life out of it. I know where it is, it's pretty easy to get. I, I'll have to go by that area inevitably anyways if I wanna get all the puzzle pieces. And I definitely will have to come back for some puzzle pieces. I know where the fifth one is, I just don't know where the other two are. I mean, I might know where one of them is because we went into the entrance of the catacombs before checking the area because I thought that was the secret. I hate that stuff when I'm like, oh, okay, this must be the secret. Nope, that's the main way you gotta go. And you're not allowed to turn back. Anyways, 4-2, high tide ride, ooh. I wonder, is this a minecart level? You know, it says ride, could be. I would like it. We're gonna find out. I mean, usually, in the first world it was like that. The minecart levels would have like little minecart tracks around it, but I don't think like every minecart level has had that. Uh, like in the overworld, I mean. Oh, I do see this down there. You see that uh, little barrel, boop. So let's try to get that. Where is this gonna send me? To a bonus already, cool. This one shouldn't be too bad, right? I would hope not. Okay, so it's just one of these. I feel like we've actually had this one before. I mean, maybe it's slightly different, but it's the same enough, you know? Uh, let's get up like that, and then, whoop. Pretty good, pretty good. Slide down, and got it, okay. And nice, so there's the first puzzle piece of this level. I like it, some good progress. DK seems thrilled. Okay, what else do we got now? Landing on you, again. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it is a minecart level. Okay, whoa. It's gonna be tough, isn't it? Oh, I already went the wrong way. <laughs> oh, it's gonna take a lot of trial and error, but that's just sort of how minecart levels are. But yeah, this could be great. I mean, minecart levels are usually a lot of fun. It'd be cool if they made like a kart racing game for Donkey Kong. I mean, they've already done that for Diddy Kong, of course. And maybe they don't have to, because Donkey Kong is already a Mario Kart character. But it'd be cool if there was just a Donkey Kong game that was like mostly focused Oh gosh. Okay, I got it. I fell to my doom, but I got it. Um, it would just be fun if there was a Donkey Kong game that was focused purely on the cart, or the, the, uh, the mine carts. I thought that'd be fun if that was like a more fleshed out concept. Maybe there isn't enough there to really work with, but I feel like it'd be fun. I mean, I know uh, Nintendo's been trying to expand their mobile devices. You know, we already have Mario Run. We could have like Donkey Kong's uh, minecart adventures, and it's just sort of another runner game, but instead of a uh, Mario running, it's Donkey Kong on the minecart. I thought that'd be really cool. Just like these kind of levels, just going on for a while. I thought that'd be awesome. I mean, I just hope we get more Donkey Kong in general now that, uh, oh hey, maybe this is more what I talk about. Looks like we can actually jump different lanes. I was thinking like, okay, maybe there could be different lanes. Uh, like most runner games usually have. Okay, we're doing all right. Uh, I want the O, got it. Gotta go this way. But, um, oh my, was not expecting that. Okay, we're fine, go this way, and then, oh. Ah, oh, that was silly of me. I should have jumped over afterwards. That is tough, though. 
I mean, I just hope we get more Donkey Kong games in general. I think there was like some kind of foreign, or at least foreign to me, version of Nintendo's Twitter, probably like, it was like German or something, like the German official Nint Twitter Nintendo thing. Uh, that tweeted something that was sort of ominous, like maybe it was just something that sort of got lost in translation, but sort of seemed to oddly hint at like maybe a third Donkey Kong Country game, which would be great, I would love that. Uh, all right, why'd I do that? Okay, let's not play this risky for collectibles I've already gotten. Big old fish, I don't like it. So yeah, that goes like that. I'm gonna jump like this, jump to the right. Okay, that was pretty good. Whoa, why'd I do it like that? I don't know. Oh, oh. Okay, that worked. Get up here. Okay, we're back to a single lane. I sort of prefer this, gotta be honest. All right, all right, we're doing good, we're doing good. Whoa, ho, 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 you gotta duck quick for that one. Okay, there's a coin, there's a coin. Gotta jump over you, didn't do a very good job at that one. Okay, now we're in a barrel, now we're not. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. This is a really fun one so far. I mean, the extra lane thing, I feel like just needs a better camera angle. Cause I, like, I don't really know which way I'm supposed to point the joystick. Obviously it's supposed to be right, but like I had this instinction to point the analog stick towards the screen, cause that's the way I was trying to move there, is the, the, uh, the railing closer to me on the screen. So like that's sort of like, it needs to be directly behind DK for that to make more coherent sense. But now I think I've learned my lesson. Uh, it just sort of, it takes a cinematic approach that sometimes sort of sacrifices more clarity in the gameplay. Okay, so I need to, oh, I didn't do it. I tried to move over, maybe, maybe I don't even need to uh, move over at all. Cause there's sort of that wall, but then it like moves away at the last possible second. So maybe I don't even need it. Whoa, whoa, don't die right away, don't die right away. Duck under that. I mean, maybe I shouldn't use the analog stick at all and I should use the D-pad, maybe that's what I'm missing here. Uh, Jump over that, jump over this, move over like that. Okay, so we're doing okay so far. And then just jump over it. Yeah, okay, that's what we're supposed to do. Four out of five, doing pretty well. One in the world's happening here. <laughs> oh gosh, Oh, going into another barrel. Nice. That one wasn't really that difficult. Sort of concerning. Okay, don't see any puzzle pieces just yet. There's lots of barrels. Oh gosh, okay, now this is sort of more what I meant. There's bananas everywhere, but I'm just trying to look. Where are the puzzle pieces? Where are the Kong letters? Oh no, there was a Kong letter. Fall to my doom. Just, bop. No, that's supposed to, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I saw that Kong letter was to the left, so I just gotta try to stay in the center lane as much as I can and then be ready for it. Uh. All right, let's get to it. So that'll be, I think, that, I think that was the letter G. So after that, we're looking for one more puzzle piece that I may or may not have already missed. Okay, move there. I'll stay on the left side. I'm gonna avoid the right for now, because I know there's no puzzle pieces there just yet. Because the Kong letter shows up now. Get that. Puzzle piece I don't quite see. It would be cool if they put it to the right while the Kong letter was on the left. But I just want to be fair. Oh gosh, I almost fell into my doom. Okay, so. I don't know where this puzzle piece is, but it doesn't look like it's this way. I thought I could turn around from that. I was wrong. Okay, I don't. I think I've missed it. I don't think it's anywhere around here. It just doesn't seem likely to me. I don't see where I've missed it. But now I guess I, in the, the five lane situation, I can stick to the right and see if it's just over there. Maybe if I get enough bananas, that's something. But there's, it's impossible to get all of these bananas, you know? Uh. It's definitely not like over, yeah, okay. So I don't see it anywhere. I think that uh, it's earlier in the level and I just happened to miss it. Okay, well I tried. What more can I do besides that? Uh, okay, so well, one thing I can do is, no, come on, get the DK. It's so difficult to get. All right, well, I got all of them but one, which is pretty decent. Only problem is that I have to complete this entire level for one puzzle piece in the, in the future. But that's not the present, so I'm not worried. Okay, that was a lot of fun though. Oh, there was a little bit of minecart right there to the right. Just wasn't paying attention. This is 4-3, a Miss Abyss, and I think it has something to do with jellyfish. I don't know how much I like that, but we're gonna find out as we go into it. So this is a pretty quick moving world so far. Uh, Not easy. Underwater worlds are never easy. Just ask Mario or Rayman or any other platforming character. Sonic, definitely ask Sonic. <laughs> But uh, as long as only some of the levels are underwater, right? I feel like Mario can go overboard with that, where it's just like, okay, get ready for like an hour of underwater levels, and I'm just like, no, no, please. 
This sort of breaks up the action a little bit because, uh, whoa, whoa, look at them. Uh, we already had the minecart, which which is nice, you know, to have. Okay, they're, ow, oh, these things electrocute me. But they're afraid of light. Okay. Well, I already got the K letter from that one. We had to play a little risky. So this is interesting, it's an underwater silhouette level. It's very, very cool. But they are definitely afraid of the light, so we're gonna have to pay attention to where that kind of stuff is. The jellyfish also emit light. Does going near them scare them? It just seems like they have their own little animation. Okay. Well, I did what I could. Get some of these. Who's gonna make, okay, what's up there? Just a banana bushel, is that right? That's right. Hmm. All right, keep going. I feel like I'm gonna miss some major details in this level, I'm like getting really nervous. First do that, and then charge at you. And they get scared and they also went away. Oh gosh! Hi! Uh, I'm leaving, goodbye! <laughs> I don't like you. I mean, okay, I don't have anything against you yet, but if you attack me, I swear, I am not gonna be happy with you. Did you attack me, sir? Leave me alone, Mr. Pufferfish. Okay, uh, these fish, they just avoid, I mean, the tentacles like sort of avoid the puffer fish. No, the, 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 the tentacles avoid the light fish. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm gonna run out of air in a moment and I only have one hit point left. Gotta be careful. Uh, I definitely am missing something over there. It's just hard because it's just tough to get over there. Okay, I got it. Oh, I can go up this way. This is definitely not the path I'm supposed to go. Okay, I got bananas. Got the bananas. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it, got it, is that a puzzle piece? That's a puzzle piece, all right, that's one out of nine. That's our first puzzle piece, holy cow. Uh, this could be a long level. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there, just trying to be slow with getting those. Okay, we're out of the water, that's good. Look at this, nice little area. <laughs> Don't know what to describe it as. Okay, so I do need that guy behind you, so I'm gonna quickly grab him. Actually, there's gonna be a bonus area, that's not what I wanted to do, but hey, this will actually work. I could just jump and then, whoop. Awesome, thank you, Diddy. I like this out a lot. I heard Diddy Kong had a kart racing game. I feel like that'd be cool to bring back. I feel like if there's any kind of like, I mean, I know that I don't know if it's possible because of the whole Rareware situation, but I feel like there'd be any game to bring back from the N64 era at this point for like a fun remaster, it'd be Diddy Kong Racing. Because I know they re-released it on the 3DS a couple years back, right? Or was that the normal DS, one of the two? And I feel like that was after Rareware sold the lace, or Rareware got bought by Microsoft, which of course, if you don't know, Rareware, or just Rare, uh, were the company that made the original Donkey Kong Country, um, Banjo-Kazooie, those kind of games, and eventually they departed with Nintendo and were purchased by Microsoft, which is why they don't make games for Nintendo anymore. Okay, uh, go ahead and grab that stuff. Whoa, gotta be careful. So, Mr. Jellyfish, I just need to swing by her real quick so I can grab some free bananas. I don't think jellyfish eat bananas. Look at all the seahorses in the background. You know, there's seahorses, but there's no sea zebras. The zebra turkey fish, which are pretty cool. Oh gosh. I mean, maybe they're sea zebras. I mean, not as much as I'm aware of. I'm not really much of a marine biologist, to be honest with you, but maybe one day that'll change. I'm just trying to follow the jellyfish for now. There is a puzzle piece, just chilling out up there. We're doing decent with puzzle pieces. Not so great with Kong letters. Oh no, wait, wait, we got two. Never mind. But this is a long level. Whenever there's nine puzzle pieces this far in the game, that usually means it's quite the lengthy level. Nothing down here, right? Hmm. This is such a pretty level though. Like, holy cow, it's amazing. Okay, so I got some hearts for that. I know, you want me to go through here? Oh, no, no. You want me to hit this? Yeah? Oh, oh, okay, that's a timer. I gotta move it. I don't know what happened to that gigantic fish from earlier. Maybe he didn't even want to chase me. Maybe he was just like, get out of my house. All right, well, trying to follow the jellyfish. They're illuminating some secrets for me that I'm totally missing out Ow, on. Ow. We still have Diddy Kong, I totally forgot. I mean, I'm glad we have him. Just forgot he was there. Okay, so I'm trying to grab these. Oh, we're running out of air. I need to get some bubbles. I don't see any around here, though. That's a problemo. Yeah, where are there some air bubbles around here? Right here, got him. Okay, be careful, Diddy Kong. Oh, that was total baloney. I had to rush over to the air. Got all that, that'll probably just, oh no, give me a puzzle piece. I thought that was just gonna give me a, a token. 
Interesting. So some of these guys just disappear behind there. I did see that maybe there's more of a secret up this way. I guess not though, ow, that was just totally unnecessary. But it's what I did. Okay, keep moving, keep moving, got it. Underwater levels take a, a different amount of focus than other levels do. Oh, bananas. I love bananas. Especially when they unlock new free secrets. Okay, so, uh, got it. One more, one more, one more. I don't know if it's gonna actually, yeah, okay, it will actually do something for me. Excellent, we're getting a lot of these puzzle pieces. Usually when there's nine of them, some of them are pretty easy to spot. Okay, I got that. We gotta move it though. If we wanna make our way through this. Oh, barrel, cool. Ooh, and now we're in a cave. Underwater cave. The cave itself isn't quite underwater. We have to go underwater to find it. Look at this guy. We're gonna toss him over that way and miss entirely. I'm just gonna keep moving this way so that hopefully he respawns. Because that would be easy for me. Of course he doesn't, come on. Oh no, 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 no. Uh-uh, not happening. If I can't get in the respawn, then we're just gonna go ahead and get ourselves taken out. Yep, get myself taken out, because I need him for what, whatever that's gonna be. Chances are very high it's gonna be a puzzle piece. They usually don't have these little bags hanging for anything simple, like a token or whatever. I mean, maybe this will be the only time where it's like that. Are you serious? Come on! I just, ah. Sometimes the throwing in this game is a little wonky, I gotta be honest. Uh, it's just, it's really hard to understand. Like, you know, it's sort of like Yoshi throwing eggs, but he has a reticle and an aiming, like, line, where it's like, ah. Uh, but here, I don't know. And like Mario throws shells and stuff, but it's just, I feel like sometimes he either throws it too high or too low. There's no in the middle with it. I don't understand why, what am I doing wrong? And he doesn't respawn, of course, so this is the only answer, which is total baloney. Like, if I'm going as far as I can left, please just respawn him. Because in another situation, they respawn no problem. Let's try to get back over there. I mean, some of these levels are going by quite quickly. And then, pop, there we go. Was that so difficult? Oh, I better be able to get all these bananas. Okay, I did, thank you. So six out of nine for that. Three more to go. Why did you respawn this time? That makes no sense. Okay, buddy, whatever you say. Uh, oh, can't get that extra life. Oh well, we'll be okay. Yeah, look at that, that was cool. I see another puzzle piece right over here. This is quite an easy one. Only problem now is I'm still missing two Kong letters. But I mean, Kong letters are usually more obvious in puzzle pieces, so. Got it, seven out of nine. It's a tough level. This might be one of the toughest levels yet. We're finding everything. It's just, geez, there's just so much you can miss. Now I'm just gonna swim in circles until we get what we want. Now if I were to charge, will they get scared and run away? I guess they don't. That's good for us. So I have to be careful with this. I wanted to loop around like this just to make extra sure there was nothing up there and there wasn't. Okay, good. Oh gosh, I forgot I'm running out of air. That whole thing where Donkey Kong needs to breathe because he doesn't breathe in the water. You know, that makes sense, but I always forget about it. <laughs> okay, do that really quickly. Can I get under there? No, of course not. Okay, wait for them one more time, because there was clearly something under that circle. And I don't think it's a little hiding spot. I think it's uh, an actual secret. And I was right. Okay, there's bananas to pick up. Quickly get them. Quickly get them. As quickly as I can. And that's another puzzle piece. So awesome stuff. That is, uh, oh gosh, I gotta go, uh, go quick. Go quick. Was that eight out of nine now? We're doing really well. Eight out of nine. We might actually be able to do this. Uh, why are you still going this way? I'm just trying to get you to turn around, Donkey Kong. Awesome. Okay, I gotta keep moving. Oh gosh, I gotta hit that. Okay. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I gotta go over like that and then hit it again. Nice. We got the letter G. Okay. Wait, wait, that means we missed miss letter N. Where did we miss the letter N? I have no clue. I mean, at least I can get the last puzzle piece. Holy cow, I got all the puzzle pieces but missed a Kong letter? Usually they're not that sneaky. Huh, where could I have missed it? You know, sort of the, that's the scary part about it too, is that, one thing, I don't know if I wanna be able to do this without running out of time, because this one's tough. It's just super disorienting, I and mean, I got 16 seconds left, so hopefully I'm wrong about that, but come on, come on DK. We gotta get up like this, go over like that, grabbed it, banana, banana. Oh gosh, got it, and then land on that one. Somehow we did that one, awesome. But yeah, huh. 
I don't know, because the thing is, Squawks won't help you with calling letters. You're on your own for those ones. So I don't know how in the world I missed that. Got it, okay. Look at me, okay, I got 13. <laughs> awesome. At least I finally did that right, right? Jeez, that's weird. I've never had that happen before where I get all the puzzle pieces but not all the Kong letters. Okay, so there's Seabreeze Cove done. What is our next level? It is 4-4, four, four, I rate eight. Oh, it's gonna be something octopus related, isn't it? All right, so let's go into this level. Let's see if we can't run into an octopi or two. I mean, if it was just one, it would be octopus, but you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so I love the backdrop for this one. Very pink. I don't know what levels we're gonna tackle after this. Cause I know some platformers are like the kind of platforms where either six worlds or eight. It usually seem to be the thing with Nintendo. It's like you have either or. Um, I feel like there's gonna have six worlds. Cause I feel like the longer the levels here are much longer than Mario and take longer to get through. Especially if you're trying to go for everything 100%. So I have a feeling there's gonna be six worlds in this game. I think that's how Returns was as well. Ooh, look at this. Uh, so that's what I'm expecting. Uh. Oh gosh, not a one of the, another one of these. And without a Kong friend, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? Okay, so far so good, actually. Uh, back down here, that's okay. They actually have a pretty nice rhythm to them that I'm having an okay time keeping up with. We got 13 seconds that we're really starting to run low on time. Uh, got it. Now I just gotta get up there and then, got it. Okay, great job, nice. But uh, what was I saying? I think that Kong Country Returns had six worlds. So I mean, this is world four, so we'll have one after this and another one after that. So I assume that probably next world is gonna be actually, like, I mean, actually at the same time, I usually expect the last world of a platformer to be all fiery and lava and dun dun dun, but this is tropical freeze. So the last world is probably gonna be a straight up just frozen wasteland. So usually, you know, at this point I expect an ice world, but I don't think we're gonna see that until the very end, the last world. Which is actually pretty cool. I just love how different this game can be. Uh, what is that noise? Something shook a little there. And I swear I saw something in the background. I don't like it. Ah, that mine exploded. Okay, go ahead and get that and then turn back around because there's obviously stuff down here. But oh my gosh, I don't like that. I don't know what happened there. If there's something big out there. <laughs> Anyways, this is another one. This is another song. Uh, from other Donkey Kong games. I know I was talking about uh, how, I, I mean, I, like, that's sort of the thing. I don't really know what the situation is with like Rareware, oh, what's this? Oh, cool. Rareware and Nintendo, right? Cause like, they, Nintendo can release Donkey Kong Country again. They did so in the uh, SNES Mini. But some people say they can't re-release Banjo-Kazooie. So I don't know what the, the extent of that deal is. Uh, all I do know is that I want all those games to be back in action because they're all great. I mean, I really like Benji Kazooie. I've never really played it through fully. I know it's remastered on the Xbox, which is where I get really confused. It's like, okay, so who owns this thing again? <laughs> okay, go ahead, get those two bananas, and we'll get a big banana for it. Hey, you got all these bananas. Good job. Here's a bigger banana. Okay. That's what Donkey Kong says. He goes, okay. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, I somehow did not get hit there. But that's a miracle. Okay, so we're doing pretty decent. I just really need some air, which we can get right here. I mean, DK can hold his breath like a champ. I'll say that much. These mines are really scary though. Uh, Got it. Gotta go down like this, but then go back up. No, 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 I wanted that banana coin. I have a feeling I need to collect all this. But I always think that at the wrong times and I'm wrong. And then the times I'm like, ah, I don't need to collect this. That's when I need to collect it. <laughs> okay, so definitely go through this seaweed as much as I can. I see the checkpoint. I don't know if there's gonna be much with that. Okay, this, the seaweed didn't have anything. Okay, well, it was worth trying. There's definitely not gonna be anything in here. The checkpoint room's never seen the hold secrets, which I think is a good thing. It's sort of, you know, you know what their purpose is now. You don't have to worry about it. No, Dixie Kong, you probably would've been helpful for something. Hmm. I'm a little nervous right now. That's sort of the thing. It's like, you really have to dedicate yourself when you're swimming as DK. Cause it's like, it's, oh gosh, difficult to turn around. I totally forgot about the whole octopus thing. Hi dude, how are you? Oh gosh, is he making ink? Oh gosh, the ink is bad too. Okay, the, the ink is real bad. We gotta keep moving. I gotta get this right there, ow. What the heck, that happened so quick. Where, it didn't feel like I had any room for error there. Maybe I could have started swimming up sooner. I mean, we're not really doing very well in Kong letters or puzzle pieces either, so we probably have a lot to go. 
that's probably what we heard, the gigantic thing we've heard wrestling around. Ow, that was unnecessary. Which is exactly what I did. Okay, so do that and start swimming up right away, maybe? Oh, I can do that. Which is weird, you'd think that the game would like want you to look at the octopus that's going to attack you and ruin your day. Uh, but not quite, it wants you to start moving right away. Excuse me, this is really tough to do. I'm sorry, Dixie Kong, I know you've taken, wait, that's definitely a secret over this way. Definitely a secret. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die trying. Jeez, it's not easy. Water levels are never easy. Like I am definitely expecting this episode and the next episode to be a bit of a grind, trying to survive everything and get all the puzzle pieces I need. I don't even wanna think about what the K level is like in this world. If it has any amount of swimming, it's gonna be treacherous, all right. Maybe this guy will show back up or something. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, so, so far so good. We're actually making some good movement. I just have to go this way, get myself a puzzle piece and just not care about the rest. Okay, maybe I'm getting swimming down a little bit more. It's just, oh, the tough part about it, this, the very, very crazy difficult thing about it is that, uh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Um, it's just once you start trying to move quickly, it's not easy to turn around. Okay, that mine was about to blow up that barrel if I didn't move quick enough. I don't like it. Okay, let her out. Yeah, okay, I just barely got that. Oh my gosh, are we done? Is it over? Is the nightmare finished? Oh, no it's not. <laughs> He's like, I see you. Uh, what does he not like about us? Does he want us for lunch? The, the octopi even like monkeys? Like, are they meat eaters? I mean, I suppose they could be. Probably eat other fish. I think that's how they work. Like I said before, I'm not much of a marine biologist. They're, they're, he's feeling around for us. Okay, I gotta go up here. There's a little bonus room. Ah, a break from the action. Can't we just hide in here until he goes away? He's gotta go away at some point, right? You get bored and get another snack. Does that mean he's gigantic? We're not gonna be filling him up very much. I mean, that's why he's probably so desperate to get us because maybe there's this, he's eating everything else. Oh my gosh, that's a scary thought. Anyways, we got that. Pretty good. Four out of five, we might actually be able to get all the puzzle pieces here. We need two more Kong letters. Ow. Cause like I can move slowly, but the thing is I risk so much either getting hit by something or running out of air because I just wasn't moving quick enough. It's really hard to work with the swimming in this game. It's, it's a lot different than the original Donkey Kong Country swimming, where this is like, you know, has 360 degree movement and you're supposed to sort of, you know, point where you wanna go with the analog stick and then sort of just go that way. In Donkey Kong Country, it was very Mario style where you can point left or right, but when it comes to vertical movement, you press the jump button over and over again and that's what moves you. Uh, up and down, and you just sort of work with those two mechanics to uh, go where you need to go. Okay, I got almost all of them. It's pretty decent. I need this barrel. Gosh darn it, get me the barrel. Why am I so bad at that? It's one of those things where it's like, once again, if you are trying to quickly go and get something and you miss it, it's done. It's over, especially when, of course, we're being chased by something. That's just how it works for some reason. I question the choice to make it that way, but it's how it is, so we just gotta work with it. Whoa. I sort of like move backwards in a weird way there. Okay, I got Cranky Kong, I guess. I mean, we don't seem to have much ground stuff going on in this level, so it's fine. Right now, Cranky Kong's just gonna take a couple hits for me. Okay, so we're only looking for one more puzzle piece now. If we could finish it so we never have to do this level again! Cranky Kong! Okay, I somehow survived that. I'm doubtful on how, but now's not the time to ask questions like those. It, now's the time to survive, right? Oh gosh, whoa, this caught up quick. It caught up real quick. Jeez, you don't have any time to think. There's no time to think. I don't have any air left. I should have gotten those air bubbles by the chance. Oh, hindsight's 2020 right now. Okay, okay, we're fine. Maybe I should have gotten more of those bananas, but I tried my best. What more can I do? Oh gosh, oh gosh. The walls are closing in. I don't like it. Oh my gosh. Okay, we made it. Wait, what is going on with this? I have no clue. Uh. Oh, I see, I'm supposed to like drop the... Come again? That was weird. Very hard to figure out what they were trying to tell me to do there. Okay, so I don't know what the deal with this is. I guess if we charge through like that, we can break these and I guess it hurts him. Weird. Okay, I didn't want to do this just yet. I guess we did miss that one puzzle piece. Gosh darn it. Always happens. Oh, I got this though. At least that's a good consolation. 15 of them this time. That's the best I've ever done. 
Cool, so there's another level clear. We got all the calling letters, which is of course what I'm mostly focusing on. But okay, we probably have a little bit more to go. I don't know if we have the ball snacks or anything else. I know we do have Funky Kong over to our left, so we should check that out. Hey there, Funky. If I could buy a couple of those uh, toys now, I think that'd be good. Is that what they're called? Capsule toy machine, yep. I was gonna buy five of them. That way I'm spending some of these tokens I've earned up. You got a Hot Hoots toy. Oh, another one, better luck next time. Okay, Scowl toy. Another one, another one. Uh, Pointy Tux toy, check your extras gallery to view it. Cool, uh, you know what, I wanna get 10 more. That was fun, or yeah, yeah, let's, let's do 10. Uh, Cause they're pretty quick just to open up. Already had one of those. A Tox toy, look at that, I like it. Uh, Dixie Kong. Wall brick. Okay. A mine cart. <laughs> Another tux toy. Uh, tough tux. And the fluff toy. And one more, I think. Another tux. No, we still got more. Penguin tux toy, which we already had. All right then. That was pretty cool. Uh, a lot of those toys. Luckily, they open pretty quick, so we can get a lot of those more. A lot more of those later on. Uh, but for now, four or five C stack attack. It looks like we have quite a few more levels left to go. I'm seeing this correctly. But uh, yeah, let's go for this one. I hope this one has a lot more on the ground mechanics. Cause that's sort of the thing, it's a platforming game. You can't be doing much platforming if you're under the water. So at this point though, we always talked about earlier, if I have to guess what the next world is, probably next world is gonna be like a hot volcanic lava area. And then the world after that, maybe the last world will be this snowy wintry mess. <laughs> uh, you always see in platformer games in one way or another. Hey, I'm gonna toss this at you if you don't mind. Never mind. You're safe for now. Now you're no longer safe. Okay. Uh, oh boy. You know what? Yeah, why'd I do that? <laughs> uh, that's a problem. It's a problem that I'm not bad at the game. Can I pull this? I can, I can get some of my health back. Oh, am I supposed to throw the bomb this way? Okay, I understand now. So I need to go ahead and pick, pick that up and then toss it this way and then kaboom. Cool, it worked. So these platforms start to fall after a moment, which I don't like but I got him so far. I think I want to try to at least trigger each one because it might be hiding a puzzle piece that way. You never know. Come on, one more, one more. Got it. And that is just a coin, nothing crazy. Oh my, uh, I don't like that. Gotta be careful about that. Ow, I was not very careful about that. Uh, where are these bombs going? Over that way for now. Okay, this is falling. <laughs> uh, I don't need that banana token as much as I need to survive, so gonna focus on that for now. Okay, cool, okay, stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeez, it just never ends. There's just so much going on around. Oh, Kong letter, I don't know. Was that always there? It didn't seem like it was at first, but I probably, it probably was, I was just missing it. Did we get the first letter? Yeah, we did. We already got the letter K. Well, yeah, this is exactly what I asked for, which was uh, platforming. Oh, I see what I gotta do with that. Let's see if I can't do it real quick. No, I can't. These things explode real fast, that's for sure. I mean, Yoshi would love them, I think, because they're watermelon, Yoshi loves melon. I can't wait for that, that's right, there is, I always forget, but there is a new Yoshi game coming out this year, apparently. Unless they delayed that. Oh, look at this timing thing you gotta do. Okay, uh, well, that time I made it. Okay, what did, okay, I couldn't go past without that, I see. Whoa, gotta be careful of that stuff, too. Jeez, there's so many. Uh, oh my, did I do this correctly? No, yes, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh, get out of here, go. Be gone. All right, is that it? So now I gotta get one of these and then toss it. Why, why don't they become off sync? They're not on sync anymore. They used, they were throwing them all at once before. Weird. But yeah, there's a new Yoshi game coming out later this year, unless they delay it, because they haven't talked about it at all since it's been announced. I really hope it doesn't though. Maybe that's something we'll get confirmed for E3. It looks like a lot of fun. There's been a lot of pl fun platforming action this year. And that's another platformer game that I think would be enjoyable. So I'm excited for it. For right now though, just trying to survive this stuff. Here, get that N, jump off of you, keep moving. Okay, this is a little scary. Uh, Where am I? <laughs> I don't know, I sort of got turned around. Oh, hey, uh, whoa. So I'm in that barrel, I picked that up. We're to the right now, I need to look up. Okay, look, we're poking out of the barrel now. That's what I wanted. Yeah, okay, that is so weird. 
What is going on with you guys? Uh, that was, okay, I don't know if it was actually possible to get more than what I got there, to be honest with you. Okay, get this stuff, good, good, good. Be careful of everything. Oh, that was not being careful, that was the opposite of careful. I hit my head on something. Yeah, there's definitely, and then I find the secret. Uh, never mind. Oh, no, okay, there we go. <laughs> there was a little bit more I had to go. After I lose Dixie Kong. That was silly. It's okay, it happens. Let me go ahead and just get what I can. Oh, I missed a banana down there, that's gonna be a problem. I mean, so far, so decent. Got it, ooh, that was actually a pretty good jump. Get that, get this, and I got myself a puzzle piece. So what is that gonna be? I think four puzzle pieces, maybe five? Four, okay. And I'm missing the letter G. Usually, oh gosh. <laughs> Oh, I can't go back this way. Oh, no, I can. Uh, I just can't go back now, for real. Oh, oh, never mind. Well, that's courteous of them. I was hoping I could maybe find another Kong barrel. Hey, here it is. Ask and you shall receive, I suppose. Okay, get rid of that penguin. So it's already up there. All I gotta do is continue on. Oh, geez, I don't trust this one bit. Oh, there's a letter G. Ow, I took a beating for it, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna throw that over that way. What is this? Ooh, Kong, not Kong letter. Puzzle piece, I already got all the Kong letters. Hmm, jump over that. Just trying to time this properly. Uh, okay. Ow, that hit me. All right, well, I guess now's a better time than ever. Oh, oh no, not again! Gosh darn it, I'm no good at that. And then I get the heart every time. That is never a good chain of events. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, wow, the end of the level already? Wow, okay. Uh, wait, am I supposed to be charging through this? I suppose so. I feel like I did that wrong. I feel like I did that all wrong. <laughs> that was weird. Anyways, we got all the Kong letters. We missed two puzzle pieces. Not the end of the world. So which way are we going? Are we going up or to the right? I'm not sure. Because there were two different spaces to go. There's clearly a secret exit here. And we're going to the right. So after this, we have our boss fight, but for now, we have rolled four six, which is current capers. What is this, this gonna be? This might be another underwater level, which I'm not looking forward to. But at the same time, I mean, probably. Getting stuck in the current and all that kind of stuff. We start on the ground, which is nice. But it might not stay there. I mean, so far it's done a pretty good job at keeping underwater levels bearable and keeping them at a minimum. I missed out on a ton of bananas there. Oh, well, we're underwater now. <laughs> but it's sort of riding, you know, a thin line of a fair amount of underwater levels to, okay, too much, you know? It's hard to really, you know, keep a good balance with that, in my opinion, with platforming games. Okay, got it. I mean, I guess at the same time, that's not exactly true. You know, Celeste is my favorite platformer this year, maybe. Uh, I love that game. Played it earlier this year when it released. Yeah, I don't think I had a single underwater. It, like, it didn't have any kind of underwater uh, mechanics at all. So what is this about? We turn this gear, and uh, I'm running out of air. Grab that bubble, pretty good. We'll get a lot of screen space in here. Let's grab the bananas first. I mean, I don't think it's gonna get me much. Yeah, it didn't get me anything, except for bananas. Oh gosh, oh, I see the risk now. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on, we got more now. So is this what I've been trying to get? Okay, oh, I was trying to get that without getting hit. Didn't work out. Yeah, there we go. Had to be something, right? Come on, can I please? Are you kidding me? Donkey Kong, come on. I understand you're you're a gorilla. You, you probably don't know how to swim very well. I'm a zebra, I don't swim fantastically either. But it's your platforming adventure. Oh, see, that was something. Okay, well, I guess maybe it was a good thing that I got taken out. I just wish I could have gotten the puzzle piece first, because I gotta do that again. I don't think it's just gonna be waiting there for me. Oh, what a pain in the booty. Okay, grab that bubble and keep moving. So what we gotta do is activate that, and I'm just gonna wait around over this way. I think that'd be better. Oh yeah, they all come out of this little thing. Oh, this is so difficult for me. It's very difficult for me. Come on! 
All right, so I got them all without taking any damage. It's so difficult. I've died a couple times on that. And this time I did it without taking a hit. I don't know what I did different, but it worked, so I'm glad. Uh, now, what about these bananas? Will they get me anything? I don't think so, but I'll try. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, I don't know what going past all these. There's only one more I gotta hit. Got it. Oh, I just, I don't really know how I feel with the underwater controls in this game. Like, they're passable in some situations, and some I'm just like, how am I expected to do this without taking any damage? Like, I'm glad we have three hits, or I'd be going like insane with this one. Uh, Got that letter K. We haven't gotten a checkpoint yet, so I gotta be very, very careful. Just the flow to these levels sometimes is so much different than the original Donkey Kong Country games, for sure. I think that really, like I've said before, it feels more similar to me to a Rayman game, the Rayman Legends games. I can't quite get up here. I might need to see if we can't get a Kong friend and go back. Uh, I'm gonna be very upset there's no Kong friends around, because that's just silly. Uh, okay, there we go. So, I guess we're doing Cranky Kong. I hope he can get us up there. Come on, Cranky. Oh, that helped, thank you. That was awesome. But I, oh, I see this as well. Let's pull that out. It was just one singular banana. Whoop. There you go. Oh, we got a puzzle piece. Nice, that's three out of five. And I'm still missing three Kong letters. They've been pretty nice with the puzzle pieces so far. Not so generous with the Kong letters. Like, that's sort of been the theme throughout this entire world. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, well, first thing I see is that down there. That's gonna give me a couple bananas. I don't need the heart. Okay, I'm going to assume we could get something here. If we could grab this banana, hide under the urchin, and then get the other banana? No, <laughs> okay. It really is like that a lot of times. Like, oh, if you find everything, you might get something. And then sometimes like, oh, you went to a great extent to get everything. Here is nothing. <laughs> here we go, here's something. Uh, four to five, and there's a banana bushel up that way. I'll grab it for the heck of it. I don't need it, exactly. Uh, oh gosh, look at him go. <laughs> he just starts swinging like crazy. So I guess every Kong has their own underwater ability as well. His is just to destroy whatever's in front of his face. Or not. <laughs> he just tried to take that dead on and nothing happened. Um, or maybe that's supposed to help them, like every Kong, every Kong friend can help you through a current. Maybe it's not just Dixie Kong. That'd be weird if it was 60 Kong exclusive, but it's possible. Uh, I wanna exactly put it past the game, ow. Okay, so I need to follow the current this time. There's no way I'm gonna be able to beat it out and get out of here properly. I don't think I need to get all the bananas. We just got a puzzle piece and we just got, you know, uh, a Kong letter. I think it'd just be smarter to get out of here. Okay, we got it, we got it. Oh. More sea urchins. It's never fun to deal with. It never ever is. Gosh darn it, especially when I miss it. Or no, apparently I got that. Hey, I'm not gonna complain. Okay, so I'm going down here. Oh, I see it now, I see it. Swim back over that way. Cause we're only looking for one more puzzle piece, which is actually pretty crazy. Uh, Don't know what our chances of finding it are. But I'm gonna try my best. Okay, there's the last spinner Rooney. Come on. Come on, got it? Going to the bottom right, ow. Sorry, Cranky, I didn't mean to. It was just how it happened. Okay, so there's actually something up this way. Just some bananas. Could have been something more though, gotta be careful. All right, I wanna try a different Kong now. Diddy Kong's fine, I haven't seen too much Diddy Kong recently. We really haven't really seen the use of much of the Kongs, because we haven't been above water, where they're really useful. Like, what if I hold A? Whoa, we move quick with that. That's cool, but not the most helpful for me at the moment. I actually need to move slowly, uh, which is difficult to do no matter what. And these little moving tentacles of pain, they're also something that's in Rayman Legends and Origins and stuff. I feel like this game took a lot of inspiration from that. Like, the original Donkey Kong Country Returns. Sort of seemed like, okay, let's just try to remake Donkey Kong Country Returns, make it like a new, fresh experience for newer gamers. And I think they did that just fine, but with Returns, are like, okay, let's try to revitalize the game, make it totally different in a way that's like, you know, good. 
Uh, and I think they've done that as well, and it's a fantastic game, but I feel like it did take a lot of inspiration from Rayman Legends, which came out like a year or two prior. That really did the same thing, where it's like, okay, Rayman Origins is a return to Rayman in action and platforming goodness. It's gonna really redefine what Rayman platforming is. And then Rayman Legends is like, okay, let's push that farther and just use all of our best ideas into a wickedly awesome game. And that's, that's what Rayman Legends was. And gosh, that's a good game. Rayman Legends, oh gosh, did we miss our final puzzle piece? It looks like we did. Unless, uh, unless these uh, two tokens will get it for me, which maybe that's the case. I know we're, ow, about, to run out of air. Oh well, I tried my best. Come on, Donkey Kong! Get that barrel! <laughs> oh my gosh. I know that Rayman Legends recently became a free game on PlayStation Plus. I've already done a walkthrough on Rayman Legends, but that was years and years ago when the game came out. I sort of want to do another one. Maybe I could redo it at some point. Uh, Cause I feel like it would be fun. Uh, I really like that game a lot. It's just a like really solid platformer like this one. Anyways, we've gone through a gauntlet of tough underwater situations. We're finally going against the World 4 boss, Fugu Face Off. Whatever that's supposed to mean, we're gonna find out together. I guess I could, that might be the name of some kind of underwater animal. And there were a bunch of like little crabs under their shells near us. But yeah, I'm really not entirely sure what this is gonna be. Uh, we're gonna get Diddy Kong. So that sounds like fun to me. Now we don't have to worry about any kind of collectibles. It's just a boss level, but it's gonna be underwater. Oh no. Hey, what's up? Oh gosh. Oh, it's a fish. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, oh, you're scared. It's like a little puffer fish. It's okay. Oh, it's not okay. He's mad. He's real mad. <laughs> He's, oh no. What do we do? Might be in some trouble here, Diddy. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, you messed with the wrong monkey underwater. Okay, so we can't touch the walls at all over here. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful, gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving. Not too much though, gosh darn, you just, you move so quick it's hard to stop. What do we gotta do? Seems like his only weakness is his behind. You can tell there's no spikes there. Oh gosh, yep, that's exactly what we gotta do. Gosh darn, that's weird. Ah. No, this is too difficult. It's too difficult. Okay, now he's coming for me. Jeez Louise, what do I do here? Okay, he's finally dizzy. Now is my chance. Boom, hit that. I guess a banana token will refill your air. Oh, there are some air bubbles. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. That was silly. Uh, All right, well, I'm gonna get rid of these guys if I can. I can, but they're not giving me any hearts for it. Okay, so yeah, still hitting your butt hurts you like that, which is good. It's what I'm looking for. I just gotta be very slow and very precise. <laughs> That's not precise. No. Ah, why an underwater boss fight? I mean, I get it. It's because it's an underwater island. That's the whole point of the world. But it's like, no, I don't want to do that. Maybe I should have used Did Diddy Kong again there and we used our speed boost. Maybe that could have been good. Anyways, we've seen this already. We don't need to see it again. All right, buddy. Ooh. Gosh darn it, like is there a way to stop spinning? Like I try to press the button and like nothing really happens. Come on, come on, come on, ready? Oh, that's not gonna hit him. Man, this is really tough for me. Come on, I'm just trying to hit his blind spot because now he comes for me and I don't like it and then he's dizzy and ready, set, attack! Got it. That was good, that was good. Would you give me a heart so I don't have to lose Cranky Kong? That'd be great, but you're not going to just yet. Okay, got it. Oh, that actually hurts him. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's another bit of damage on him. Then we can hit him an additional time back up to full health. Okay, now I'm learning a bit more about this. He's mad though, he's like, what's happening? I'm the undefeatable Pufferfish. Oh gosh, he has his butt hidden in the different axes that we can't move, Who's? sort of facing the opposite direction of us, the viewer, towards the camera, you know? Okay, so, boop, that's not really what I wanted, but it wasn't really facing his butt anyways, so it's not a big deal. Come on, come on. Ow, oh, it's so weird how that works. Okay, get that heart, and then go for him, go for him, go for him, boom, hit him again. Okay, we're making it work to some extent. All right, he's gonna start spinning. So we could hit him when he's you know spinning around like this. It's just not easy. Apparently I got him there. It looked like I got hit, but I didn't, I'm at full health. Unless I immediately picked up a heart. 
You're mad again. You're super frustrated. Okay, so what are you gonna do? You gonna make your puffer fish friends in a moment? Okay, uh, stop swimming like that. Come on, no. Okay, whoa, you're just gonna bounce around. I swear there's something like this happened in Rayman Legends. Like, I mean, I'm not trying to like annoyingly continually make that comparison, but I swear there was a level and like an enemy like this in Rayman. Ow. Okay, so we're really, really running low on air and that's gonna make me lose a heart, which I wouldn't like. Gosh darn, there's really something weird with the swimming or it's like you can't stop. And it's just like, what am I supposed to do in that situation? Like if I just, I mean, I guess if I try to dodge, like dash the other way, that sort of works too. But it's just weird how it performed. It's just not what I was expecting. Okay, so you're gonna bounce up like that and I'm gonna hit you. What? What are you talking about? That's what I call maximum baloney. Okay, buddy, I was hoping you'd drop a heart. Oh, I maybe could have attacked him there. Jeez. Wait, come on, I got him. And there's a heart for me and then I immediately lose it. Oh no, it's so weird how it works. Okay, those are all spiky dudes. Not much I can do about him except for dodge. Okay, okay, I can hit you. There you go, that's what I'm looking for. That could just hit you dead on. Yeah, we got you, well, hey, not bad actually. Nice, that was a, by far the farthest I've gotten that. I was like ready for it this time. All right, hit you 24 times in the face. I mean, you're mostly just a face, but new figurines in the shop, new music unlocked, that is awesome. Let's head back to see Breeze Cove, but there we go. There is our main path to the boss fight done. I am so happy about that. I'm gonna try to close my eyes because I don't want to see what the next world is. Um, okay, my eyes are closed. I'm gonna press back. Uh, press back again. And then I think we're on the island. So I can move to the left and do this. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I have no sense what's happening. Hey, wait, what? We're here now. Did I move like an extra one over? Hey, whatever works, because I'm not too worried about it at the moment, because we're gonna be tackling the next world in a future episode. Next episode though, we'll be going through all the levels again, getting all the missing puzzle pieces, getting all the secret levels, and of course doing the final K level. It'll be a blast, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze for the Nintendo Switch. If you watched this video, make sure you comment swimming zebra. So you've watched the end of the you are a zebra tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the zebra herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.